Hello, Scorpio. I hope you're doing all right. <clears throat> I want to go ahead and get into your reading for the beginning of March 2019. I've already shuffled these cards. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, all right? <clears throat> hope you're well. Show me energies present for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regard to love and relationships and whatever else may need to come through. So you have the Three of Cups in reverse. Show me more for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Three cards flipping over. I'll read the bottom first. And the Hierophant <clears throat> in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. What else for Scorpio? Two of Cups, beneath the Three of Cups in reverse. More for Scorpio. Knight of Swords, upright, underneath the Hierophant. The Empress, beneath the Knight of Pentacles, upright, the Empress. And the Queen of Swords beneath the Page of Pentacles. With you at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. King of Cups. Shiny little King of Cups. Pretty. <clears throat> okay. It's like I'm what I, I'm not even reading the cards right now. What I'm feeling is like um, how do I explain that? It, it, for anybody that's seen stone cut or marble broken or shale, shale, maybe. Um, God, I really want a better analogy it's like it's like when you hit the stone it cracks off in a slab revealing new stone it's almost as if the level of what we're dealing with here it's like it's been so solidified calcified whatever's happened in the past it's just been so much um so stuck that it it basically has to crack off and break and then that that reveals a new like surface I really don't know what that means um that's what it feels like it means to me and that's what I'm seeing okay Help me with that. Help you. There we go. I'm sorry, I'm just picking up like this weird message right now. I'm sorry, Scorpio. I'm going to start your video again. C 
see that's the card that came out before it's the four of cups maybe i won't start your video again it's you know what this is this is this is um it's releasing things that you've already experienced with somebody or somebody releasing some sort of like large aspect of themselves it's like they have to crack through themselves to get to this new it's like a new facade, but I, I would be careful with that because it's like, is it a facade? Is it a facade? <clears throat> is it a facade? And it's like that person doesn't know if it is or isn't either. It's, it's like relearning the self. Oh God, I want to start this video over for you. Let's just keep going. So the three of cups in reverse communicates people who um, tend to be involved in third party situations. A lot of the time upright, this card is going to denote a lot of happiness. It denotes um, frivolity, fun with your friends, going out drinking. In reverse, it talks about people who typically are involved in third party situations. Um, you know, situations where people aren't seeing eye to eye anymore. I almost feel like this is what that is about. It's like not being able to see eye to eye with a partner any longer <clears throat> yet. And that's, it's almost like love kind of penetrates the bedrock of the foundation that you both um, are part of. But it's like cracking that piece. I wish I had an example. It's like you crack this, this the, not cement, but the, the rock, and it just pfft, revealing a new piece. It's like unearthing different aspects of the self, different aspects of your relationship. It's a weird fucking reading. Okay. But somebody's like holding off at this point. Somebody's not certain if they want to re-engage in this. Show me the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, so you have the Five of Pentacles here. The Hierophant in reverse... Um, while this can talk about a breakdown of a relationship, it can talk about um, things not going the way they they once were as far as communication um, and as far as commitment goes, not communication, but commitment. I don't know why I'm like spaced out. I'm fine. Um, your reading is super just like, I don't get it right now. Um, the Hierophant can also talk about doing things unconventionally. Um, releasing certain bonds, the ways that we were, okay, so the ways that we were, the ways that we were, this is what I'm hearing right now, the ways that the, 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 pe the person has grown up, the ways that this has existed within them, how this, it's like a rework, um, it feels like a rework, it's like slabs, I just keep getting this hard slabs, it's like like releasing huge pieces of the self. Um, but here you have the five of pentacles. This is talking about moving away from a situation, no longer wanting to be a part of it, letting somebody go. Underneath that, you have the knight of swords. So this is basically harsh communication, um, very blunt and clear communication. I feel like somebody has like come to this. It's like a crescendo of... It's like their understanding of themselves, their understanding within situations, within relationships. And it's like, it's changing or it's changed or like enough happened for them to, to look at themselves. But, but I don't know if the other partner is um, trusting it, wanting it. I almost feel like somebody wants to convince you of something, convince you of change. I've changed this degree. <sighs> Under that five of pentacles, you have the nine of cups here, Scorpio. So in regard to this, this is kind of what I'm saying. It's like, like here, look, this person is like jumping over these cups, like freedom. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm joyous. It's, 
it's like it's it's like oh my god newfound information about the self newfound and you know what i totally understand if you don't want to re-engage with this person on a relationship level just because this person is essentially going to have to learn everything about themselves as far as their relationships go and how they deal with people from the beginning like reboot rebuild understand the self um okay show me the knight of pentacles in reverse So you have the Ten of Wands in reverse, Scorpio. Um, in regard to the Knight of the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is essentially somebody who gets the job done. They get involved with things that are going to bear fruit. They take their time. This is the slowest moving knight in the deck. In reverse, this person moves at a snail's pace, if that. Okay, this person is is where they've been. It's almost as if this upper row, all in reverse, is an energy where it's like where they've been, how they've operated, but also the demise of a relationship here. And it feels as if this is like releasing that guilt. It's like we, we, we have to understand the self now. We have to shift our understanding of the self to be able to incorporate with another person in a positive way, in a healthy way. Um, it's like releasing certain levels of guilt in a relationship but also releasing certain levels of guilt for the self. This is a very um, introspective reading, and it feels like it's introspective in regard to the person that maybe didn't do so well in the relationship, the person that was, um, I don't want to say antagonistic, the person that was not doing good things in the relationship. I'm probably going to do a second reading for you. This may just be a bonus reading. Who knows? But yeah, it's releasing burdens. It's allowing things to move forward. You know, when we put those those wands down, we separate ourselves from um, the bond of problems. You know, we understand things. We're able to move forward in a way that um, better serves us, better serves our partner. You know, but also I feel here too, it's like, utilizing those lessons to reacquaint ourselves with how we operate in relationships that's what it feels like scorpion show me the page of pentacles in reverse so you have the tower in reverse for the page of pentacles in reverse so this is somebody who comes back to situations it's taken a long time to come back to a situation but it's a situation that they basically need to let go of um, you know what, it almost feels here too with these two cards. It's like almost recognizing the self, how we operate, um, the things that we've learned from childhood, the way that we've learned about love, the way that we've learned about respect, respecting ourselves, respecting partners. Um, it almost feels like this person needs to go back to that and shake it down, let it break down. But they have to go back to like certain aspects of themselves to it's like being under your own microscope. That's what this feels like, Scorpio. Show me the three of cups in reverse. So you have the hangman. So this is the energy I feel now of you, the hangman, like not certain about what to do here. I, I almost feel like you don't want to be part of this. It's like your energy is more so built upon, um, bettering yourself Scorpio your energy is more so built upon like being clear in the direction that you want to go in for yourself because you recognize that this situation has been tumultuous to the degree that it's not helpful for you any longer um sometimes people need to be let go of um sometimes they need to learn on their own it doesn't mean that you you could have been a catalyst for this you could have been you know that change for this person to understand who they are inside but that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be stuck with this person um and this is this person doing a lot of internal work doing a lot of internal retros like 
Intros introspection, introspection. Show me the Two of Cups. Show me the Two of Cups for Scorpio. So the Two of Cups, you have the Ace of Cups popping up. This person, it feels like they, it's like they want. Here you are, Scorpio. Death right here. Um, this person wants reconnection with you. This person, I feel, wants some sort of reconciliation or like redemption is another that's coming through me to me. Um, it's like letting, it's like I've, I've changed. I've changed. Justice underneath the death card. I've changed. I promise you I've changed. And here you are. <laughs> Have you? Have you changed? Have you changed? How have you changed? Give me one more for the Ace of Cups with the Two of Cups. Yeah, you're at odds with this. This doesn't feel right. You're at odds with this energy. You know, and you it's almost as if like one of you is gonna be like, um, well, how have you changed? What what direction and course correction have you done? You know? Um it almost feels too as if like the one that has experienced the brunt of the negativity within this relationship is going to bring up things from the past, pain from the past, hurt from the past. And <clears throat> it's not going to be helpful for the one that, that is proclaiming that they've changed. It's, it's going to bring things up. It's going to um, rub things in their face, so to speak. Um, Show me the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel that this Knight of Swords is you being very blunt in regard to what it is that you've experienced with this person. You have the Four of Swords here, Scorpio. So this talks about taking time to heal. It talks about um, removing yourself from situations that are negative, that are um, ill-advised to be in, okay? Things that have hurt you, things that have mentally frustrated you. Um, you know, things that at one point you felt were incredibly positive for you and that you wanted to be a part of, but through somebody's actions, you know, I mean, I don't want to get redundant in the Scorpio readings. It feels like there's energy here where, um, people, people hurt each other. People hurt, you know, in relationships. I really would love a reading that is just lovely for you and bubbles and sunshine um this isn't it you know but the four of swords talks about shutting somebody out sometimes it talks about removing yourself from a situation that is painful that doesn't necessarily work with you any longer and here with the um knight of swords it's like <clears throat> you taking time to do you but also communicating exactly why you're doing that communicating what it is that you want from this person and sometimes it's communicating that you just want to shut the person out you no longer want to be a part of it the four of swords can also talk about blocking somebody um that is no longer healthy for you to be part of show me the empress the empress also in regard to that talks about healing the self it talks about abundance self-nurturance it talks about taking time for you making time for you right next to the four of swords it's definitely like extracting yourself to just pay attention and focus on you um queen of swords cutting energy out that no longer serves you you know willing to listen to somebody willing to be open-minded but also very logical logical approach it's less emotional it's somebody who really just doesn't want to deal with bullshit and when you have somebody who's like newfound understanding of themselves within love like <clears throat> How do you trust that? Like, how do you believe somebody's changed? You know, like, I don't know. They may have changed. But is that worth the energy for you to stick around for? Show me the Empress. You have the Five of Swords for the Empress, Scorpio. Okay, with the star at the bottom of the deck. So this talks about 
levels of healing. It talks about acceptance. It talks about trusting the path that you're supposed to be on, the path that you've been led upon, the path that you're on now. Okay. Does that path look good with this person? Does that path look good with this person attached to it? I feel like it's an attachment. I don't feel like it's um, a welcome. Yes, let's go. Let's skip down the aisle. I don't feel that that's it. I feel that it's an attachment that needs to be um, recognized and reconsidered. And by reconsidering, I mean reconsidering your exit, like reconsidering how it makes you feel on the whole, you know, um, re-engaging with this person. Does it feel good? Does it feel solid? Does it feel like you want to? I'm going to clarify this, Five of Swords, but this is what the energy has, she's experienced this energy. By removing herself from this type of energy, she takes time to essentially cultivate her own happiness, cultivate her own energy back. You know, when you deal with people that hurt you, that cause you the five of swords energy, the five of swords talks about deception. It talks about um, lying, manipulation. It's mind games, like heavy mind games. Okay. Um, when you deal with somebody like that, you, you need to retract. You need to heal yourself. You need to be away from energy like that. That's not something that's going to serve you for the long run. It serves you as far as lessons go, as far as like what to know not to be around, what to know not to invite in our lives again. But is this that? Are we re-inviting something like that? Or has this person changed? I'm not sure. I'm going to do a little bit more for that. But this energy here, the star, this talks about trusting the direction that you're going in. If this is, if, if you here underneath that, the star, the direction that you're going in as far as your own energy, you have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles talks about being alone, but happily. It talks about releasing energies that no longer serve you. It talks about building up your own life, being satisfied within your own life, working hard, being diligent, being genuinely grateful to be on your own in a situation to heal, okay? Under that, you have the Two of Wands, which talks about choosing directions. It talks about difference in people. It can talk about you having difference in choice in people. But I feel here it's more like a direction, a release. Like, do I hold on to this or do I hold on? Like, do I make a move for the, the future? You know, underneath that, you have the Three of Wands. So this is talking about putting the energy in towards something that you know works for you. Removing yourself from situations that you know aren't healthy for you. This is this is essentially the the energies that you want. It's manifestation bringing that to to you. It's like the universe bringing that to you. This takes time, you know. But what we have here is choosing a direction. And then working at it and waiting for your, your truth to come forward. What it leads you towards releasing this is your Ten of Cups. You know, sometimes we need to have, sometimes we need to swallow broken glass and have boiling hot razor blades on us. I don't know. It's, it's, this feels like the situation that you were in with this person it doesn't feel like it was pleasant. It doesn't feel like it was easy. Um, it feels like it was huge growth for both of you. But, you know, not everybody grows in the same way. Not everybody understands the same things, you know, and if they if they must apologize, let them, but also be careful about allowing them back in your life. And also to the Five of Swords um, can talk a lot about self-deception as well, okay? If you're here, if you're in this Empress energy, taking care of yourself, staying golden, being careful about what you put in your life, what do you allow in your life, be careful by re-engaging in this that you're not self-sabotaging. This is a huge energy of self-sabotage, okay? The Five of Swords. Show me the Queen of Swords, please, for Scorpio. Show me the Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini as well. Queen of Swords here. So now, again, we have that Three of Wands. <clears throat> Three of Wands, waiting for what works for us, knowing that what we put our energy towards is going to come back to us, okay? Knowing that the direction that we choose to go in is going to be something positive for us and 
being patient in regard to having it come to us. Just because somebody comes back doesn't mean you have to rush back into something with them. I feel like going back to this situation almost is going back into something that isn't necessary for you any longer. Like it's, it's running back into the burning building, essentially. Here, we let things release. We let things go. We let the explosion happen. Here, we're trying to fight for it, even though the place is crumbling next to us and all over us. We're still trying to fight for it, holding up the walls while the thing is burning down. You know, like, what is that? Why would you put yourself in harm's way? You wouldn't do that if it were an actual burning building. Why don't you consider this person to be a burning building and you being inside of it? You wouldn't want to stay inside, right? Show me the Five of Swords for the Empress. Show me the Five of Swords for the Empress. There's a Page of Wands here for the Five of Swords. So um, a lot of the time, the Page of Wands can talk about communication, um, messages. It can talk about new directions, sometimes new directions, but we don't really know the pathway. We don't know the direction to go in. It's just we have the, the movement there. Some of you may be feeling that this person is almost juvenile and how they're approaching you as far as their communication goes um, in regard to how to move forward from this. And just because they suggest that they want to move forward from this with you does not mean you have to move forward with them. You have the high priestess here underneath that, okay, underneath the page of wands. This is talking about um, trusting yourself Trusting your own intuition, going within. Um, sometimes it can talk about a tarot reading, um, tarot readers, you know, psychic connections. Um, it can talk about the information that is secret, things that are hidden, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> Show me the King of Cups for Scorpio. Show me the King of Cups. So... Here, Scorpio, you have the Seven of Cups, and it flew out in reverse as far as things go. And underneath the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Cups. So in regard to this, Scorpio, this is decision-making, okay? Upright, the Seven of Cups talks about having a lot of decisions. It talks about dealing with things that are on an emotional level that we're not sure about, which direction to go in as far as like what's going to be helpful for our emotions, um, you could have a lot of options, whatever. This person may have had a lot of options. Either way, letting go of that in reverse, this talks about choosing a direction. It talks about choosing and making a decision in regard to where you want to go. Here, it leaves you upright, okay? So you're upright. And underneath the King of Swords, you have the Three of Swords, I'm sorry, underneath the King of Cups. King of Cups. You have the Three of Swords. Beneath the Three of Swords, you have the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups talks about... Um, here, I'm sorry, I don't need to be confusing you. I'm. Many of you know how to read tarot already. Um, I, I'm forgetting that not everybody knows the meanings of the cards and the energies that are present with the cards. So, okay. <clears throat> as far as what I described here, the Seven of Cups, basically choosing a direction that you want to go in, here you are choosing that, moving forward, you know, going towards something that's going to make you happier, going towards something that you know is going to um, feed the self, but also feed the emotional aspect of yourself, not get caught up in things that are going to be negative, tumultuous, frustrating, dishonest unclear. I feel that this person is kind of like in a very juvenile muck right now inside of themselves and they need to grow. They need to grow. We all grow. We need to grow, but they need to grow in certain ways that may not require you to be part of their life. Six of Cups talks about somebody from your past. It can also talk about somebody wanting to reconcile with you. Okay. Now, with this card, I want to be very um, clear in stating that it's important that you not romanticize this situation, that you not wallow in what might be. Why don't you take a, a gander at what already has transpired within this situation with this person? Recognize it for what it was. If it was truly unhealthy, 
do you need to re-engage? What have you learned here? Really. <clears throat> the Three of Swords talks about somebody that's hurt you. It talks about unending feelings and pain in the heart. It talks about um, third-party situations. It talks about breakup. You know, you have two cards here denoting third-party situations. It doesn't mean that this person did that with you. Some of you it does. But um, it talks about pain, emotional pain, frustration, hurt in regard to relationships. <clears throat> And you have this person from the past who's hurt you asking for a new beginning. This is the fool. They're, ask <laughs> They're asking for a new beginning. But you're of two minds. You're of two minds in regard to which direction you want to go. And I feel like some of you are just going to shut it out. You know, <clears throat> with the moon here in the center of this this card, you know, it's talking about using your intuition, but also talking about being clear in the direction that you go in. Um, sometimes moving away from something doesn't really offer you much clarity. You just know that you have to go, right? So you do that, you know. Um, for some people, it, it literally could mean that this person has been a liar with you and you don't know how to trust them from this point on. <clears throat> Scorpio. So, you know, a lot of the time the two of swords talks about being at a stalemate. It talks about being of two minds, being of two decisions, um, but not really moving any direction, you know, and that makes sense because underneath that you have the 10 of cups again. So <laughs> with the nine of cups, okay. So in regard to the nine of, sorry, 10 of cups, nine of pentacles, Ugh, Jesus. Um, yeah, in regard to this, you can either go with this person, okay? I feel go with them and stagnate and not really get much done, or you can move in a different direction altogether, something that makes you happy, something that makes you worthwhile, something that might be scary to do, but you do it anyways. This is talking about your ships coming in. This is talking about things that are actually worthwhile, okay? Um, when you put energy towards this, when you take yourself out of situations that bring you heartache, deception, frustration, being re-engaged with somebody who may not have your best interest at heart, even if they claim that they've learned, either way, releasing energy, being on your own, by doing that, you choose the direction and path that you go in which leads to the Ten of Cups. This is talking about emotional abundance. It talks about um, connections that are actually true, genuine feelings being shared with somebody else, you know, not a one-sided relationship, not where you have to question somebody's motives, okay? It's an emotional connection that is solid and it's long-lasting. It's loving. This talks about family.